Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hani, and I'm from Israel. And today we are going to paint together the Indian corn. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to show you the the finished project, which is this one. Okay. Uh, for this project, I'm using uh, open medium uh, brushes. It's uh, four and eight. And I'm using the colors. It's a, it's a mixing yellow, ivory, uh, violet of iron, auburn, a pink tan, and pink cheek. Okay. Uh, This is the pattern. You can trace it. You can also uh, sketch it whenever you want. When after I sketch or paint it on the porcelain piece, we will try. We will start to paint. I'm painting each grain separately, and each grain is different color. Uh, the color are, as I told you, so I'm starting with the bright, which is ivory, and it's going to be like this. You, you can see it, it's okay. Hopefully. I'm taking a separate grain from one each other. And when I'm painting it, you, and you have to pay attention to make sure that at the, at the um, up grain, it will be bright and you push the color to the side, okay? So you have like, uh, you, you can make the shape of the grain. Now I'm using a mixing yellow. And go over to the darker paint color, which is a pink, for example. You can see it here when I started, like this. The cheek pink. Oops. After you paint the whole grain, put a little bit highlight at the middle of each grain. Okay. You go over the all the cob corn, and then I, I would like to show you how to paint the leaves. The leaves. Is going to be uh, just a minute. Okay. I paint it only with tan color, the whole leaves. When you paint it, you paint it like a monochromatic color which means that the, the part that has to be lighter, you just push, pull the color, and when it has to be shaded, you put some more color. By this uh, 
by this paint, you actually built the leaves in one color, okay? On these leaves, you can see it's only one color. It's only for the first play that I make. That I made and built it. You can see from the first fire the shape of the leaves. Okay. If I have to to put to make the fold, I take it like this. This is the way I built the leaves and make the movement of this, of all the leaves. Like this. One side is light, one side is shaded. See? So you've gone over the whole uh, comb, and I will show you how it's come for after the first fire. After the first fire, you can see the color is not so uh, bold. It's very light, but you can see the whole situation, how it's coming, okay? I fired it on the 840 Celsius degrees. I don't know how it's by the cones, but my, my uh, kill is, um, Celsius uh, temperature. For the, the second fire, you just go over the whole situation. You make uh, the colors more darker and uh, the color is going to be more dark, more uh, uh, sharp. You again, Pay attention for the bright side and the dark side. This is what okay, I told you. you now. It's 
connected to the grain only. Okay, when you are going to the leaves, when you are going to the leaves, for the second fire, I use auburn to make more dark at the side that have to be shaded. So it's going to be like this. Necessary and it is not has to be more dark. You can blend it with the tan. For example, here, if you want, don't want it too deep, do it with the blend with tan. Okay. This is the way I'm going for the on all the leaves. When we add the deeper sides, it's not has to be uh, at the same color for all the leaves. Sometimes is more bright, sometimes is more deep, more dark. Okay. For example, here I would like to make it more dark, so this is the way I'm doing it. Also, I'm going over the whole. We stand mix with the obon. And when whole leaves is uh, with color, wet color, I take uh, a very um, old brush, which the hair is open. Okay, and go over the leaves to show the fibers. It has to be very gentle, not so sharp. So after the, when I've finished the whole, co the whole cone, of course, I may fire it again, 840 uh, Celsius degrees. And it's going to be like this after the second fire. Almost ready. For the, the third fire, I put some uh, violet of iron. Here, under the, co the cone, to shade under.
this is also give us uh, uh, a perspective that uh, has the three dimension or something like this, okay? Of course, you have to blend it nicely towards the cone. After you make, you do it uh, at the places that you want to make a dip or something like that, you are going with the O-bone and make it go going over the sides of the cobe. This is also make the the cobe shape. Okay, only on the sides with the side load brush. Okay, we get the, the shape of the code. We have uh, that and we have the light side here on this side, like this. I'm gonna show you here. And also you put uh, the oboe at the very um, uh, under the leaf, which is the inner side here, for example which is more depth, okay? You build the leaf, you make them the, the movement and the illusion of a three dimension. You can put some they have hairs or I don't know how to call it. Okay. Then you fire it when you on the, the, the for the uh, third fire also go over the the grain if some to, to strange some places or make them more uh, uh, shape to, 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 um, to correct if there is something to correct. This is the, the chance to do it. Uh, actually, this is the project. Um, if you have any question, I'm here to to answer. If you would like to unmute yourself and ask Connie a question, now is the time for that. Okay. Well, Hani, again, thank you very much for your time and um, sharing your presentation and your beautiful painting with us. And okay. I guess the next time we see you, we'll be on Tybee Island. Yes, of course. <laughs> very good. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for coming thank to you. our classroom today. Thank Everything you. was very clear for me. Thank you. And okay, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Hats from Bolivia. 
Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Khagit. Khanit. <laughs>